Ah. Oh, oh, okay. All right, let me suit up. All right, y'all. Um, I'm just going, we, we're doing our first hive inspection. I, I forgot my microphone too. No, the microphone is on the land. We're doing our first hive inspection. And I think, I think we're about to have some honey in here. This hive is over winter. They lived all winter. And they've been super busy these last few weeks. And everything is booming right now. So we hope for honey. Lots and lots of honey. The honey and the money, baby. Yes. Hey, Rosette. Hey, everybody. Hello. Coming in. So we, hey. we're just, we're doing this for our SOBs class. You know, I know a lot of people ain't interested in keeping bees, but this is what we do. This is part of, uh, I guess you can call it, Lady Lid and Lid Farmer and Freedom Makers. We got a lot to show you guys, and we got a lot going on. And this is what we've been doing for I don't know how many years no more. I done lost count. So we're going to just show you guys. We're just going to take you with us as we do this, okay? So hey, just Gigi. come on in. I'm going to just show you as much as we can do. Hey, my friends. And for the most part, this is for the people that's just interested in, in getting that free honey. This is how you do it. For everybody that's, that has the question, how far away does your beehive have to be away from your house? This is literally my garage. And here, my hand is on my hive. Might want to show them the hive. Yeah. My car, our cars are right here in the same amount of space. And we get in and out of our cars every day and walk across right here in front of our cars. So we walk across this every day. The bees aren't interested in harming you at all. So I'm going to light the smoker best way I can right now I already had it packed unpack it unpack it unpack it yeah hey y'all hey Murphy oh can, can I say what just happened yes because then tell them to get ready for this video y'all get ready we literally like we're coming from our backyard we just caught a storm so yeah we caught a swarm about an hour ago we, we've been supposed we, we all this afternoon our plan is to get in this high but we paused because we couldn't help it we had to go back there and watch them swarm in and go into uh the hive back there so we got some more bees we're gonna share with y'all hey wait till y'all hey, see hey. this yes it was amazing a few of them were there this morning, you know, but you know, it's best not to get too excited until you actually know they're in the hive. Cause sometimes they can kind of, you know, check out a hive and really all they're doing is going in there and taking whatever resources they can find. But maybe about a couple of, what was it an hour after we went out there and looked yep. at it? About yep. an hour later, then this big cloud comes. Now that's undeniable. When they when they uh, start clouding up and when they pack on the front of the hive, that's how you know it's done. You know it's going down. Uh oh, what you doing back there? Drop the oil. So yes, yes, yes. Hey, she is sunshine. Hey, Grammy midwife. Hello, CC Marie. Hey, Tennis Blossom. Hey there. Yeah, so we, we getting this um, smoker ready so that um, we can kind of, it, it doesn't really calm them down. It just kind of, uh, you know, uh, confuses their signals so they can't communicate. Kind of like uh, when you can't get through on your cell phone, that's what happens when we smoke them. So that's what we're doing, trying to get them a little confused. They think it's a fire and... Uh, that makes them go in and start trying to save the honey and everything. So, um, where did I get this? This is the this is the brand of this. Um, I bought it for you. I know. I'm asking you. Where did it come from? Um, Somebody's I asking. I forget the name of the company. I found it's it. Laps Bee yeah. Supply. I guess you could just look them up since he trying to act all secretive. Um, I got oh, some. No, I got it. some pink pants. I, these I had to dye. 
I don't know if y'all remember that video I had where I was getting stung. Yeah, so I bought me some canvas bee pants and they was blah beige. You know, how you gonna have a beautiful bright pink uh, jacket and some old blah looking pants? So I just got me some red dye and I dyed the pants. So you probably won't find pink pants. This is just the jacket. Uh, do we sell the bees or the honey? We don't sell the honey. Um, sometimes when we have an abundance of bees, we do. But as of right now, the season's just getting started, so we can't we can't say. But no, we don't we don't and, sell it. And we're going to be taking these bees and the bee swarm that we just caught today. I'm, we're going to be taking you with us. Oh, I thought you said I was. No, I was trying to do stuff, oh. but I got gloves um, on, so I was trying to see comments. But... We're going to be taking the swarm that we caught today straight to the land tonight. So I'm going to take y'all along with me for that. And this hive, after this, this hive may stay here probably another 30 days or so, or maybe a little longer, and it's going to. Probably yeah. should keep one here. Keep, we'll keep one here. Um, but but once it, it we we gotta see if it needs a split now, we gonna figure that out like now. We we gonna figure out do they need a split or do they just need a box? Hoping they just need a box. For everybody in the B class, this is the experimental hive where I got the um the uh, queen excluder, which I hate. I see a lot of drones. I see a lot of drones. So we about to find out what 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 they're gonna need. Are they gonna need more frames, more space, or is is there queen cells in here, or what's called swarm cells this time of year? So, are they ready? Yep. I know. I'm really just trying to keep this going. You want to keep that smoke, make sure they a little confused. We ain't going to be able to see the camera, but I'm going to do my best to, to show y'all while we work, okay? This may take a second or two. I like to smoke myself a little bit. Can you show this? Yep. I just took the, the lid off. But I'm using this as my tray. This is where I'm going to sit the boxes instead of sitting them on the ground. So that keeps the bees from falling down. And even though the queen wouldn't be up here, um, that's just kind of a safeguard for that. Yeah, nothing's going on for this. I didn't think so. Take that whole box off. I just put this box on last week. But clearly they don't, they don't need it. You don't need another glove? Yeah. Queen excluder. I hate them. I don't use them. I was just trying something out. I mean, these, these bees have plenty of... They're just now starting to uh, work up here. So they really have... Oh, they did a, they did a lot of work, though. Okay, okay. So I'm going to take y'all up as high as I possibly can so you can kind of see what we're doing. Okay. Yep, go ahead. I'm ready. I, I'm ready. Now I'm going to show you her put a cat of corn. Why cone? That's because of that honey baby. That honey baby. Ooh. Ooh, baby. They're really calm. They don't even need a whole bunch of smoke. Oh, yeah. I just hope this look as good at the top. I mean, at the bottom as it does at the top. I hope it's not a bunch of Right, that's exactly what I'm saying. Ooh, that box is this is an old box, so I seen it. I seen it warping over. You like, what are you doing to me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? 
Oh, this is tight. Tight box? Tight um, cone. Let me know if I start smoking you by accident, honey. You know I, I smoke you half the day. Yeah, okay right now. You can stop. I'm just trying to keep my smoker going, baby. Well, you're going to have to do that over there. Go over there, please. Okay, you can smoke a little bit right here. They get mad. Where they at? Because this is... See how tight this is? Oh, my God. And that's pure honey. Oh, that's why they clowning. Hey, y'all, this is pure honey. Oh, man. Capped honey. Here we come. Oh, it's fat at the top. I've got a feeling it's going to be... It's brewed in a little bit. Just brewed in the middle. All right, hold on. <laughs> you always be excited. I do, man. We know well, let me get it. Let me get an open box. Uh. Well, this is all honey. Just this one. But uh, show it to the screen. I don't want to try to tilt no, it. No, because it's not. It's not fully attached. My workspace is getting kind of stupid. Uh oh. What? No, I'm talking about you and your workspace. Okay. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this frame of honey. Nah. Uh, just set it. Just here. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because I need to see. Oh, that's all brewed. Yeah. This is all brewed. Now I'm gonna zoom it in for y'all. There we go. That's a little better. They sure are acting stanky. They're like, these is our babies. What are you doing? Mama, somebody at the door. What you doing? I see a lot of brew. I mean, drone, drone, drone brew. Not a good. Oh my God. Oh, queen cells all over the place. That probably. Will, oh my God. Okay. So you're seeing queen cells all oh, up that's in about the. Oh, about to break. Woo! Glad you caught it, honey. I don't even care. This is all drone anyway. So what you're looking at. Well, we don't know if we're going to need them clean cells or not. Okay. We got to do a split. It's either something is wrong with the queen and that's. No, I didn't have swarm cells. Okay, at the bottom. Okay. I thought I seen some in the middle. They're in the middle, but they're in the sides of. They're so, on the sides. I'm checking them to see if they got eggs in them. Oh, man. I'm just going to. figure that out. Huh? That, that one is... It got to go. Right I'm going to put this in a box by itself. Oh, wait a minute. Thought I heard her. Now I'm looking for the queen, y'all. I could have... I thought I heard her. She make this distinctive noise. She shouldn't be on. I know she shouldn't be here, but we are, every time we say that, we find her. All right, I'm going to set this down here. Okay, so it's looking like split. Split instead of honey. Split instead of box. Which is still good because it's going to the land. This one, yep. Yeah. Honey and drone brood. More drones. That's not cool, y'all. That's bad. That's, That's not bad. It's a sign of reproduction. It's That's bad. Not... For, it's bad for me. Oh, it's bad for honey for production. Honey, per se, for now. Okay, worker brood, so. Okay, we yeah, got. She's, she's doing her thing. She's just getting ready to um, swarm out if she hasn't already. Okay. I think she's here. You want to try to look at that? Yep. I got it. I got it. I'm not going to see if you can see some eggs. 
I'm gonna go out in the sun, see if I can see some eggs. No, this is all just honey, pollen, bee bread. No. This is a very productive hive. Here goes some more uh, queen cells, cap queen cells. If we find the queen, we will be lucky. Like she already left. Yeah, we might not need to even split if we can't find her. So now we're looking for the queen. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, that's capped. That's what I just said. I didn't hear you, honey. I'm, I'm over here. Okay, that's a cap queen cell. Let me show it to him up close. That's a cap queen that's like cell. A double cap. Queen right. Cell. That What's might be that might that? be some twins. See that long peanut? That long peanut that they crawling on right there? That's a cap queen cell. They done closed it up. The queen is inside. And she might be about to emerge the way they got it. Plenty of worker brood. Man. I don't know, honey. This is what mm, flat worker brood looks like. You scrape whatever that is off the bottom. Like the smoke, get that smoke going. That looks like just some brood. Drone brood. I'm, a, I'm about to pick it up. When you scrape something off, don't leave it on the ground. I gotta find it now. Right. Oh, because of plastic. They hate, that. they hate this plastic. Okay, so this is a plastic frame. They hate our plastic frames. So we got. Just honey, nectar, capped honey. I'm going to keep on going. Oh, my God. Look at this next one. Ooh. Oh. Now that's a harvest. That's what I've been waiting on. Oh, it's fat. It's the rest. Oh. Wait till y'all see this. Wait till y'all see this. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's leaking. All right. I need a box. I need a box because this is this got to go in the house. This is a house. Oh, be careful. I am. I am. Mm. Mm. Okay. I thought you I had enough. just took the deep. The, the deep is over there. Huh? Deep. No, that's full. Oh, that, got, that got frames in it, honey. I got another deep right here. It got frames, but... I was about to say, you won't have to take them out, honey. Well... I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm, working, I'm working on it. <laughs> there ain't nothing else to do. Right. And, uh, I need a bottom. You had the bottom. You moved it. Look. Right there. That's you set it in there. That's my top, huh? But, but you can cover it with that right there. That boy don't fit. This and that at least give you some temporary. Oh, there we go. That, yeah, I just don't want them to go back in there. Mm. All right, y'all. It's harvesting time. Okay. Y'all about to see some real crazy stuff. Man, this is about six jars of honey right here. Each frame that you see be this serious. Or more. Yeah. So if you can see this, I'm about to show you. I'm gonna show you how we get the bees off the honey. Oh, be careful, it's oozing right there. I see it. Oh, this is so freaking heavy. It's heavy, honey. Like, oh my God, what a... <laughs> <laughs> Don't show them that side, uh, show them the other side. Uh, <laughs> Don't show them the butt side. Uh, Feel this, you gotta fit it, please. This is about, this is about 20, mm, 15 pounds, 
20 pounds. Don't ready? Just, I'm not. I say, don't just, just say when you're ready. Okay, I think I'm ready. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Liquid gold. Now this you is going to make a mess. Yeah, this is going to be a little hard here. Oh, I can't. Uh, I'll throw my back out trying to shake them off here. That's about to say, and it's leaking. Mm. <laughs> hey, you look like you ain't doing it's, nothing. Because it's too heavy. You going to make a mess. This is about 30 pounds, man. This is one of them uh, 20 br pounds. brush times. Okay. All right, hold on, because I, I, I am going to have to get You want me to grab it? Yes, go around and grab the brush. Because this is just too much. I ain't felt a, a frame that fat. Look at how fat that is. Why? I ain't felt a frame that fat full of honey in quite a while. All right, yeah. Huh. I'm I'm trying to pluck this All right. I got to get a better grip. Smoke while I do this. You know they hate this. They ain't coming off of this all willy-nilly. They ain't, yeah, this ain't, this ain't a free ride for them. They hate this brush. All right. Be careful. Is that a joke? Be careful. No. But don't fun. It's real. Alright. More drone brew. Damn. Where's that smoke? One one. I'll, oh. I'll, Okay, so now we're running into cross cone. Where it's like on two, look at that, it's on two. She, right. she got my glove and I don't, wanna, I don't want that scent to be on me. It's on me, buddy. I know. Here's a pretty one. They doing a lot of cross comb in the class. That's what we was talking about. Right on these ends. Yep. When they do the cross comb and go across the across the frames, you don't want that, and you're just gonna have to correct it yourself. It's not pretty, but it is what it is. Here, let me get at it. Oh, it ain't too too bad. They what can, is that? Wait. That's a dead bee. Is that a bee? No, nah, it's crunch beef. That's old crunch beef. So it got honey and nectar in it, but it's not desirable. So we're gonna leave these couple frames in here. Yeah, push that back. So when you this find a too. crooked, Look at this one too. I'm going to fix them. So I'm just literally going to push this with my hand and you're going to cause a mess, but you can't let that stay like that or they'll mess it all up. See how I just did that? Honey just dripping off my fingertips. That's, See how that one is? How that's bowled yeah. out like that. So I'm right now I'm just pushing all of these. I'm pushing all of these frames back in order so they can fix it. Okay. Now you got honey all over the place. All right, well, leave them like this. 
Uh -huh. so, so they don't try to keep cross combing because uh -huh. that covers that one. We going back out of order, but. That's, that was the order. Well, what? This was over here. Uh -huh. Trust me. Come on. Uh -huh. All right. We still looking for the queen because to see if we gonna do a split or not. Okay, I got plenty of deep frames. Hold on. Oh, you setting them aside in case Just you Just in case we got to do a split, yeah. We can take these empty frames back out quick, but I don't want to put them all the way back in. Uh-uh, that's a broken one. How many we need, three? Yep. Yeah. All right, y'all. Can y'all see everything okay? Now we're going down to the bottom box. We're going down to this lower box and try to find the queen and see what's going on down here. Here, I know that's heavy. Oh my God. No, that's, that's heavy, honey. Look at this. Very small. I, I dropped that down here. No, that's that's on top of the frame. And it got it got it looked like it got a queen cell on it. See it right here? Yeah, get that off there. That ain't supposed to be there. What oh is no, that? it is a queen cell, but it's the weirdest little booger peanut I've ever seen. Alright. Let me get my smoke up. Oh, that ain't my normal guy. No, that, that swarm is definitely not them. Well. It's not them, honey. I don't know if she's still in here, though. It's hard to say. She's in here. Because it's so many queen cells. She had plenty of time to leave. Look at that queen cell right there. Yes. Yeah, With a queen in it. It was already cracked, cropped open. Yeah, they really, really acting a little funky. Well, we're in the I got this. She must be down here. Because they clocking now. Queen cells, cap queen cells, they're about to swarm. She might not be in here because that, yeah, that roar that they had. All right, keep this to the side. Which, that, which direction was this? That way, right? So we're going to be able to do a split for sure if we wanted to. If she's in here, if we she, could. If not, we we're gonna have to leave. We want to leave. No, we got plenty of queen cells over here. Oh, you tried it. Yeah, but the thing about it is, yeah, they acting real stanking. Well, she's well, not in the here. Queen is gone. You might as well just leave them all together. Yeah, so, she's she's she left the right amount of bees here. She's not here. Why they mad at me and not you? You know why. <laughs> Are you choking yourself? Yep. Look at all this work Well, she sure left a good work for her if she's gone. 
But you never know. So they still be Sometimes they be, but you find two cap queen cells. It's kind of like, eh. If she stayed, she just was the weather made her stay. That that cold, no, that cold ain't gonna kill her. Now with all these bees. Nah, but she could have said, I'm gonna wait till it warms oh, up. I'm, I need to show folks this. This is worker brood, cap worker brood. Both sides. I got it. This is cap worker brood. Both sides, we're on the hunt for the queen right now. So we're looking for her. Oh, she did. She she won. She won heck of a queen, cause boy, she ain't joking. Oh yes. Yeah, that's all worker brood. Worker brood They, they feeling all this. Uh, let me hurry up and get my glove on. He humming. He, she smell my hand meat. She smell that hand meat. She like, oh, he done come out of his suit, girls, over here. They think I'm Magic Mikein. Look at this bee right here. Which one? That's a weird one. This is a queen. That's a queen that's lame. She, that's why her butt was in the, in no, the. No, this is nectar. A, mm. a newly hatched. Maybe, maybe this ain't a queen, but look at how her back is. I see this. I ain't see. Ain't that weird? Let me see that bag. If, she, if it's not a queen, she a weird looking worker bee. That's a newly look. hatched queen. Look, and they all helping her. Look, that's a newly hatched queen. Leave that alone. That's just her. That ain't no mic. That's her body. Or maybe we accidentally locked this lost her out of wherever she was at from up. Yeah, because she can't hold on to this. I need to put this down. Put this frame. Put this frame. It was the other way. All right, let's carry on, shall we? No, I, I got to get it stroke up on Y'all think y'all could do this? I know you could. Yeah. And if you're thinking that you need somebody to help you, it's always good to have somebody help you, but you can do it by yourself too. We usually do it by ourselves. Buzz me. Don't buzz me. Yeah, they, they really, they clown me. We're gonna have to just let all these mugs hatch out. I haven't seen any eggs yet. We ain't seen the queen, we ain't seen no eggs. Here, yeah, let me go in there. Taking too long. Yes. Babe, it's a slow process. I know, I know. This is all. There's a queen cell right here. something in it. Here's, here's, here's one hatching out. Oh, that ain't a queen though. That's just a, a, yeah, a drone. A, it's a drone. Oh, oh, yeah, the drone just hatched out. That's probably what we saw. Nah. Nah, that other bee look weird and not so well. That bee is a Alright, keep it moving. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna I kinda. Mean, you didn't see no eggs or nothing? Nope. What 
is this one? Nope. She just got a curled butt. She wasn't even stinging me. She just was twerking on my arm or something. No, 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 nah, you were going slow. <clears throat> Tons of worker slow. brew, cat worker brew, queen cell at the bottom, queen cell on the side. What's in the cells? The uh, nectar. They filling it all with nectar. All worker brew and nectar. Okay. Nectar is everywhere somebody had, she, they filled it with nectar. Okay. So I'm not seeing her. We ain't seeing no eggs. We on the last box. I think she done already pieced us out. She sure did. And some nice, delicious frame of honey. Probably get ahead. It's a dookie, ball. a dookie ball on the bottom. Don't let stuff like this stay. See that? Don't let stuff like that stay on your uh, in your hive. I'm still looking for her. I got hope. I know how many times. Just nectar. Nectar and larvae over here at the bottom. Hmm. Larva. Larva on the bottom. I need to take this in the sun and see if this side is good. Hmm. Hold on, let me, let me get over here Another worker brew. Huh? It might be on the next It's really baby larva up here, like. Right. One, one day old larva. It only takes them three days to hatch. So we got one day old larva. So she is possibly still in here. Y'all think y'all can pull this off? Y'all ready to become beekeepers? It ain't as hard as we making it look. It's just harder when we videotape it. Feel that honey. Nope. Is that heavy from all cat worker brew? What you see in the in the sales? I and see nectar. nectar. Just nectar. I don't see her. That might be our queen that just swarmed to the box in the back. Hey. <laughs> if it is, that she made our job easier. Yes, she did. But uh okay. She wasn't playing. No, nah, she wasn't playing. She, and she made sure she left them with plenty of equipment if she swarmed off. So I'm going to put this back in here. I wish we could, uh, We need to cut this drone off and put the frames back. Yep. That's why you was like, don't let it break. I was kind of like, screw that. And it's old. The one with the queen cell needs to go back. But the other, yeah. the other two can dip out of here. This 
same deal. Same deal over here. Look, there's another queen cell. Some kind of little weird little queen cell on the end. She got her nails done or something. Is it capped? Yep, it's capped. So she done and her nails is painted and her hair is done. Man, we could turn this into so many hives. Okay. I mean, yeah, it could be. It still could be split, but just let it go. We got two right now. Yeah. We got two definites. Mm -hmm. Uh, what we need to do is maybe um give them a give box in between. Yeah, give me the smoke. I'm gonna start setting them back together. Smoke these fools. No, fooly me. They're nice bees. They sure are. Y'all not fools. They wiser than a lot of people. <laughs> this hive ain't no joke. This this my mama hive. Yeah. She did good. She did good. Yeah, there's some dark bees in there, some light bees. Now this is the part where I do move fairly slow, putting them back together. I don't like hunting. Next thing you know, you ain't gonna be able to park your car like this no more. They'll be getting at you. Oh, I must say, me what too. Is that? Here, let me meet him. Okay. Go ahead, deal with the Amazon guy. I keep putting this together. Give me the leave. Oh, I must say, leave me that smoke. Don't leave me with a. Don't leave me without no ammunition. So we just gonna leave them alone since the queen, we don't see the queen nowhere. We don't see eggs, we see larvae, we see everything we need to see. So we're gonna feed these drone frames to the chickens. <laughs> Give us some snacks. Chicken snacks. They like snacks. They like bees. Doesn't really need a box in the middle, right? Um, they got... Yeah, that's gonna give them too much space. Just so leave. You, you gonna just take the whole, the whole um, frame, right? Take yeah. <laughs> Remember, take that one out. That's got the um, queen cell. Let me turn them around so they know what we're talking about. Mm. Say what now? That one with the queen cell in the middle. I think is this one. Right. And put back in here. Yeah. Give me that frame. <laughs> They bugging me. You know, you just disturbed this whole house. I'm a home wrecker. So I'm putting this one with the queen cell back in here. Give me a bunch of thrones. Give, and give me those two empty frames back. And we're gonna we doing this. I'm getting rid of these drones. I'm gonna put because all these drones is about to do is eat up more resources mm -hmm. than need to be. So um, we don't need yeah. that. And then we can cut cut the honey off of that. Off of off the drone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, We're almost done, then we're going to take some questions. I'll leave you alone. I'm going to put this one because they had started working on this. Yeah, yeah. Put that back. Matter of fact, give me that. Give me that. Uh, uh, I'm still running my experiment. Mm. Okay. Mm. Here, 
so I can help. I don't like these queen excluders, but you I'm still... Give that a once-over and make sure nothing's up there. Ain't nothing, ain't nobody. Okay, you're yeah, but if there's some up here, they'd be the only ones, though. It kind of looks like they don't want to even go up here with their twins. You know what? That's enough for that stupid experiment. But now they don't... Right now, what's about to happen is those drones are about to hatch out. All of that's about to become honey because it's going to take the queens a minute to make and start laying again. If we come back in a, in a few weeks, we're going to have a lot more honey. show you how I get bees off my frames. A frame that's not 20 pounds. A frame that's not 20 pounds. This, I don't usually use a brush. Matter of fact, that's the first time I've done that in years. This is how I get the bees off my frame. Shake them off. Like Mariah. Shake them off and then they gone, see? If it just got a couple on there, that's no big deal. honey box. trying to get these in the honey box. Oh, so you want to just Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Them ain't here. That's that. We're we gonna, gonna huh? So just scoot everything over there on the pathway so I can answer some we can answer some quick questions and not get stung up. I'm gonna take the honey. Yeah, I got my butt facing them. They'll be done tore me up. So as you can see. What, you got it? No, I don't got it. Yeah, that's, that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so y'all about to see a whole bunch of stuff go on. All right, that's heavy, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to have y'all look this way for a hot second. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Okay. And I'm going to answer as many questions as I possibly can. Q. 
can. Uh, I'm going I'm to go to the back so y'all can understand what's really going on here. She going to finish getting the supplies that we don't need. Getting them put back up. I got bees still following me. Chasing me off. All right. I got a lot to talk to y'all about. About this transition that we have going on. Still got this freaking bee following me. Gotta be freaking kidding. Let it go, B. It's not. So I gotta keep my gear on for a minute because I gotta, I got a uh, a Rambo B on me. She ain't giving up until she can until she can get me. She want a piece of me. All right. Any questions? She still she ain't gonna leave until. What bees would you recommend? What do you mean by what bees would I recommend? Uh, hey, she is sunshine. Said that's the bees that I like. I don't know what that meant. Um, yeah, she mad. Hey, Benji TV. Can you explain what you were doing? Um, I'm a beekeeper. It's so intricate that we'll be here all day. I think she gone enough for me to do this. Oh, what bees do you recommend for beginners? There's really no such thing. I know you hear a lot of different kind of bees. Just get some bees and, and take a class. Hey, Myra McLean. Say, you so sweet. She think you the honey. Oh, okay. Where did you get your crates? I buy them from all over the place. I buy them online and I put them together myself. It's cheaper that way and it's easy to do. Will you replace the queen to continue to hive? The queen ain't the queen ain't in the box. The queen has swarmed out and she put a lot of queen cells in there. So they're all capped. That means a new queen is about to be born and take over that kingdom. The old queen is gone and I think she's in right here in our new our new box. Uh, let me see. The little stingless bees pollinate different flowers and make different honey, I heard. Yeah, they're useless, though. I promise you. Th those stingless bees are useless if you're talking about honey production. What is the best way to catch a swarm? Lemongrass, old wax, uh, swarm spray, looking to try to catch a swarm. Um, I kid you not. I always use an old queen and some and some alcohol we've talked about that in my uh in our b class an old queen and a little bit of rub a little bit of old wax in the box don't put a piece of wax in the box rub that old wax in there i'm talking about wax from an, an actual beehive not something you buy at the store because little do you know that's not wax that's something weird that they put together and calling it wax it got a lot of chemicals in it how you doing not your kim uh but they don't make much honey that's right those stingless bees, they're cute and they do pollinating, but they don't make much honey. And they don't, they don't put their comb in a pattern like honeybees do. They put their, their comb in like this spiral that's mixed in with the brood, that's mixed in with the honey, that's mixed in with the pollen. So you can never really separate them. How do you build your crates? You, when you get them, it comes with everything you need. It's going to be some nails and you get a hammer and you bang them together. How you doing, uh, Althena Madugal Say, hey, a new beekeeper here. Hive is one years old. How soon can I harvest honey? Um, and how can I harvest manually? Um, if you harvest honey right now, you need to be checking your hive to see if you have enough honey. Even if you have honey, you need to see, is this honey that you can actually harvest because they have a surplus? Or, or, or do they need that honey? Because we go sometimes a whole year and don't harvest honey because... That's theirs, and they, they're going to need it for survival. Uh, do you always empty the box on your land for a queen to move into? Yes, and I'm going to literally release a video today of us catching, catching this swarm. I'm going to show you right now. Those boxes right there, I leave some of my equipment out at all times, all year long, 
empty and then that's what happens this is what happened today when y'all see this video i promise you you're gonna lose your cool because we're about to have lunch and all these giant swarm of bees blocked out the sun and flew in that box true story can't make it up so i got that box is going to freedom acres so we calling them our freedom bees Okay, how do I buy from you? Buy what from me? We do not sell honey at all. All I, I don't like selling honey anymore because I only want to... The same price that we sell honey for, I can teach you how to keep bees. And then you'll be getting honey for the rest of your life. And you'll be making money for the rest of your life. So we stop selling honey altogether. We would rather teach you how to get the honey yourself. So you can teach other people. You can not only be eating honey free for the rest of your life, you can also be teaching other people around you how to get that honey and that money. So that will just spread like dominoes. So I just stopped selling honey. I don't want to give the honey to people. Thank you, Happy Mac. It just is defeating the purpose. Can you take two different beehives and put them together? Yes, you can. But what you have to do, you got to make sure that other hive, one of those hives cannot have a queen in it. If one hive has a queen, you either got to get rid of that old queen in the other hive. Or if that hive does not have a queen, then yes, we, we teach you that in our bee class. Yes, you can, though. But there's there's a trick to it that if you screw up, you're going to have two hives of dead bees. Uh, let me see. Subliminal frequency says that's that's a kit. Wow, I thought they were upcycled dresser. Uh, oh no. Okay. Uh, let me go back. Um, thank you again, Happy Mac. Uh, I'm looking for I'm looking for more questions again. I know I missed a couple. Hey, Led New. Oh, got that one. And get my phone out the sun because it's burning. How does bees take the heat in the summer time to uh, keep cool? They they take care of the heat and the cooling the same way we do. They know when it's hot. They know how to cool off their hives. When it's cold, they know how to keep it warm. They they are animals and they think and they're very very smart. Uh, how much honey does that size setup get you after a few years? It doesn't work that way. If they have a surplus of honey, you can have that hive for 10 years. If that, if, if they don't have enough surplus of honey and there's not enough things around blooming, your harvest depends on your area. Your harvest of honey also depends on the strength of your bees and your hive. And your harvest of honey also depends on what do you have blooming in your area. If you're in a desolate area with no blooms, no flowers, no trees really doing anything, your harvest is always going to be low. So that's why some beekeepers, like backyard beekeepers, we take our hives other places where there's more of an abundance of wildlife and trees and everything else so they can harvest all the nectar and the honey and the blooms. It's harder. It's a little harder in the city. Okay. Uh, let me see. So how much honey you get, you cannot control that. Anybody that answers you, answers that question is, is lying to you. What is the best way to catch? Oh, got that one. Got that one. I'm, I'm, I'm working my way back from the bottom. Do you think a top bar hive works just as well? A top bar hive does not work just as well if you're talking about producing honey. A top bar hive is, it, they say it's simple, but it's not. We actually started with top bar hives. We started with one. We built our very first one. That was the very first time we started beekeeping years ago. And then I built about three more. Top bar hive versus a Langstroth hive is almost ridiculous when you've used both. I say a top bar hive is for a seasoned beekeeper and a beekeeper that does want a honey harvest. With a top bar hive, it's just harder to do both. And you, it's just so much to this that that top bar hive makes it even harder to do. So I would just stick with the Langstroth Hive. The reason why people don't want to go with the Langstroth Hive and they want to go towards the top bar hive because you can make a top bar hive yourself. And that's cheap. Don't do it because it's cheap for a reason. It's cheap because it will not produce like a Langstroth Hive. It will not, 
it will produce a lot of bees, but they only make as much. Bees don't like building horizontally. Bees like to build vertically. So they have a hard time getting in that box and like that little coffin and go and build in that way. You got a whole bunch of issues. Then you have the problem of the comb breaking inside of the hive. It's just a, it's just a big mess. I wouldn't suggest that to no beginner at all. A, a top bar hive, no beginner, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Um, do you have a video on how to start beehive? We actually teach a beekeeping class. Uh, do you leave honey in the hive for the bees in the winter? Yes, I do. That's why sometimes I don't get a harvest because I leave them their own food. That's not just food, that's their medicine. So if I take all of their honey and everything they need, they're not making honey for you and me. They're making honey for them, okay? They're making, just like us, stocking our food up and they're prepping. They're the original preppers. So they're not saving all their food in abundance for me and you. They're saving all their food in abundance for them. So if you take it all, that's why it's called robbing because we are literally robbing them of all their hard work. Uh, I've seen another question. Uh, bu -bu 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 hey, what's up, Broke Farmer? What's on, going on, bro? Um, I've seen another one. How do you keep them? How do you keep them? We have two seasons, rainy and dry. I don't understand your question. How do you keep... Uh, do you think top bar hives... Just, okay, got that one. So I, I might be on time. What do you use to treat varroa mite? We teach that in our, in our B class. Um, and you might want to Google that and speak to a professional, okay? Don't just get information over the internet for something that serious. How do you keep bees? Oh, got that one. All right. I'm working my way down, y'all, for question. Should I get hybrid bees or regular bees? Um, there is really no such thing as regular bees. And you can't, you just get bees. Don't get caught up in what the, the European bees and the Africanized bees, don't get caught up in that nonsense. Those are just words that the media use to mess with our heads. Just go and get some bees and get started. They'd be like, oh, these are so gentle. Don't get, don't get caught up in that. Because if, if something happens to the queen, those so-called gentle bees will turn into monsters if something happens to that queen. Then you'd be like, oh, they gave me some, some African bees. No, they didn't. I, that's why I hate uh, when people be saying that to me. Uh, where's your bee suit from? Um, I don't know. My bee, fruit, bee suit is from the Carolina Bee Company. Right here in South Carolina. I got several. I got, I got three different suits though. So I don't know where all of them are from. How many boxes do you suggest to start with? Start with two, two deep boxes. Start with two, now that I can't answer. Start with two 10 frame each deep boxes. Each box takes 10 frames. Don't go with that eight frame box because it's hard to find parts for it. Go with a 10 frame box. If you don't like the 10 frame box, get it anyway and just set a internal fee, uh, bar, bar feeder in there and a frame feeder in there and that'll take make it eight frames if that's what you want to do but for the most part try to stick with the 10 frame box um how many bees i oh, got that one got that one i'm currently in a wheelchair and i use and have use of one hand i want bees but i was told i might need to wait um i'm not going to say tell you what you can and what you can't do because i don't know but I'm telling you this, the boxes are super heavy. That one frame that we just took out that was full of honey is at least 20 pounds. I couldn't pick that, that up as awkward as that frame is with one hand. Wasn't gonna happen. You would have dropped it. So I, I, I can't speak on your um, disabilities and what you can and what you cannot do, but you may wanna go take a class and they'll walk you through what you have to do so you can be the, uh, be the deciding factor on if it's something that you can do or not do okay uh wow i didn't know honey is their food honey is their food honey is their medicine they ain't making that for us 
that we have we just we just coming we're just robbing just like bears we're no different than bears to them they did not do that for us what's up Sion family garden what's going on rambo green hands uh B give you honey don't matter which one um i don't know what that means rambo my bees are barely gentle but they they work there you go have you tried making me with honey i don't waste i don't waste honey something so precious on something so ridiculous so uh, uh absolutely not if i want to drink i'll just go make some fruit wine or i'll go buy some wine i will never ever make mead i made it one time and i will never do that again ever because I thought about all I'm doing here, it gets you a little tipsy, but I just wasted all of this honey to make this crap. I will never do that again. And when people do make mead, they do it just, just to, for show. They don't, it don't even make no sense. And it don't taste no better or no worse than any other wine that you go out there and make. Uh, let me see. Do you still use popsicle sticks? Yes, I do. Matter of fact, some of those frames, some some of those frames that we pulled out had popsicle sticks in them. I wish I could have showed them to you. Uh, what's going on, family man? Hey, more backyard gardener. Uh, say one one ten frame deep. Add another box as hive grows during the mid season. Correct. It depends on how productive your hive is where you add your box. Don't go too quick and don't be wait too long. Um, Hey, Led, what are your thoughts on pollen patties? Um, if they need them, give it to them. I've never, ever, 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 never, ever done that. But I live where I live. There's no reason to do that. You may live in a place where um, you may have to do that because these flowers and trees and plants bloom most of the year around. So we've never had a shortage of pollen. Ever, listen ever ever my hive may fail hey mary grow with me my hive may fail but if it fail it's still full of pollen uh thank you princess say so much so much info great questions everyone should i use bees for honey or pollination for fruit you use bees for everything. You can't control bees. Let's get that out of the way. That's what we teach in our bee class. You can't control what you want them for. They're going to tell you. Think of bees. Think of bees like a house cat. You ain't training no house cat. You train dogs. You're not training a snake. You train dogs. Bees are like snakes and cats. They're going to do whatever the heck they want to do. Whenever they want to do it, however they want to do it, you can try your hardest to contain them, but you cannot tell them what to do, how to do it, when to do it. All you're doing is you're giving them shelter. You're just giving them shelter. You're not, you cannot control them. OK, so if they feel like pollinating or if they feel like making honey, they'll make that decision completely without you. And there's nothing you could do about it. Uh, let me see. Do blackjack bees make honey? I don't even know what that is. Uh, when you extract honey from your bees, how much honey do you leave for the bees? I, there is no specific amount that you leave for the bees. I leave the bees with what they need. It's times where I will leave all the honey if I feel that they need all of that honey because maybe the, the hive is suffering, the hive is weak. I'll leave all the honey. I don't need it. They need it because if I take all their honey, they die. Then I'm screwed for a couple of seasons. So me stealing all their honey is a lose-lose situation for me and my bees. Um, so I always leave, as a matter of fact, you know what really got me stop selling honey? What made me really first start stop selling honey is because, oh, I got five gallons of honey still in the house, five or ten gallons of honey. I leave that for my bees so they don't fail. One thing my bees will never do 
is starved to death. No, I don't sell honey. I sell bee classes to teach you how to become a beekeeper so you can get free honey and you can make money by teaching other people how to become a beekeeper. So you will have honey for the rest of your life and you'll be able to sell your, uh, your knowledge over time and always make your money back. So I don't sell honey. I don't, I don't sell honey. I don't give it away. I would prefer to teach you how to keep bees yourself. What bees do you have? I have honey bees. Don't get caught up on all them names. I promise you, don't get caught up on them names. You're going to be looking online. You're going to see Italian bees, African bees, uh, Ting Tang bees, Nigerian bees. You're going to see all that those ridiculous words. And I promise you, all you're doing is going off of whatever they're telling you they are. You don't know what an Italian bee looks like. You're going off of whatever you ever. OK, I'm going to compare that. I'm going to compare that to the garden. OK, well, let's compare that to the garden. When you get a brand new fruit tree and they say, oh, this tree pumps out this many fruit per year and it only take between a year to two years before it's giving you fruit and all of this. It, but then you go and read, that was a pear tree. Then you go read an apple tree and it said the exact same thing. But then you go read a peach tree, it said the exact same thing. Remember one thing, there are laws. Those laws state that you have to give a description of your selling your worth, right? So you have to tell people, these are Italian bees. They're very mild, very gentle, very this, very, all the best bees in the world. But then they'll charge a premium price for them. And you will go off and buy some Italian bees. They ain't no better than any other bee out there. And when they go mate, they're going to mate with some wild bees. Now you got some, some mixed breed bees. It's all garbage. It's all lies. Don't fall for that. Um, it's... It still blows my mind they ship hives to California for avocados and other fruits. Yeah. How often How often do you check in your hives? It depends on what, what time of season it is. Like right now, I'm in my hives every single week, at, at least once a week. Twice is tops. But once a week, I'm checking my hives so they don't swarm out like just what just happened. I check my bees, and I went out of town, went to my land, and I was there for six days and I knew, I knew they were about to either swarm, something was going on. And I should have checked them before I left. I should have fully checked my hive. I did a whole video and I didn't release it because I was like, eh, they'll be all right. Don't nobody need to see this. I should have, I should have done something right then. But luckily they swarmed out of that hive, moved in this hive in the whole back of my land. And I still got a, hey, trailer park gardener, how you doing? Um, trailer Park Gardener, I'm glad you're here. I think that was you that I caught that Gmail um, this morning. So I'm going to address I'm gonna address you and everybody else that's watching right now. Um, I did not have no prize or nobody's going to win anything or something. Uh, you got to. I will never. Hey, get lost doing a video dang <laughs> i will never ever 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 and i'm gonna say this not just me any youtuber that's asking you to pay for a prize you won that's not that youtuber if that actually is, which I know a lot of YouTubers, big YouTubers, even big YouTubers that I don't know, they don't even do that. If you ever have a YouTuber asking you to pay them money for shipping, $100, $200, $300 for shipping for a prize that you don't know nothing about, for not just a prize you don't know nothing about, they didn't even ask you for your address first. They don't know nothing about you. And then all they got is my thumbnail. But underneath that is say WhatsApp or something stupid like that. You have to use your own common sense. You got to use your common sense. Like I don't remember Led talking about none of, none of this. Hmm. I wonder why he want me to pay $140. 
I have never asked anybody. Listen, I've never asked anybody for a, a red cent. I have never asked anybody for a nickel for anything I've given them on this YouTube or anything else. I have never asked anybody to like, share, or subscribe my videos. Never done it. Never. So if anybody ever tell you, hey, that's what's going on here, you, I'm, I'm uh, paying for subscriptions and stuff, you know that's a lie. I'm not asking nobody. If I feel that I'm going, I'm going to give away something, I'm doing a giveaway, just best believe I have everything, shipping, tax, and everything cost already covered in whatever I ever plan on doing a giveaway. I never... Never and I never have and I never will ask you for money For a prize or something. Okay, so please Please be on your P's and Q's Because remember this world is ugly now everybody trying to scam everybody Everybody using whatever they can and as y'all see I'm I'm real close to 300,000 subscribers The more my numbers go up the more scams I have to deal with every day. Okay. Am I going to make a video on how to buy land? I've been making a video on that for the last two or three months. I can't tell you. Well, we're going to get into that later. Do you recommend a one hand person take up beekeeping? I can stand, but not run or walk fast i can't tell you what you can and you can't do my friend if if you think that you can pick up a beehive that weighs 50 pounds with one hand and pick up a frame of honey the frame of honey might weigh 15 20 pounds full of bees flying around your head with one hand if you can do that who am i to tell you you can't i've seen people with disabilities that can do way more stuff than I can do. I, I can't tell you what you can and what you can't do. But as I told, I think it was you or somebody else earlier in this chat. If I would suggest you go take a class and go to a beekeeping supply store or a, a actual apiary and go there. And those beekeepers will let you try your luck at doing what they do. And that will tell you real quick if you can handle it or not. I can't, I can't, only God can tell you what you can and can't do. That's between you and God, okay? I can't, I never hold anybody and hold their disabilities against them because I've seen some miraculous things done um, by people with disabilities. So, please go out and see if you can handle it yourself first before you go spending all this money on B equipment and then you figure out, mm, yeah, nobody told me this part. Okay. All right. I'm going to tell you this, guys. I just put this video out. I really didn't put this. I wanted this video out for our the, the people in our beekeeping class so they can see the examples that we've been telling them about this whole session. Um, have you heard of Smoker called? No, I, I just use a plain old smoker. Please don't get caught up on all of this, these Fandango gadgets. Don't. I promise you, I've done it all. When you get caught up on all of this kind of this, everybody do the same thing with gardening. I don't understand what's just, what's wrong with just doing it the good old fashioned way. Dig a hole, put a seed in the ground and water it and then eat later on. It don't got to be different. Everything ain't got to. Flow hives are trash. They're freaking trash. And I tell them I said it. They're trash. They know they wrong for that crap. They know they, they dirty for making that freaking scam machine. What makes them swarm? It could be a billion different things. We, we talk about that in our B class. Have you experienced any diseases or pests? I have experienced both. I would need an electronic smoker. If you, let me just put it to you like this. If you need an electronic smoker, you may not need to keep bees. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you keep trying to do shortcuts on keeping bees, you will, listen to me, you will fail. Because you're gonna try to get a shortcut. You got a shortcut smoker, but you still got to lift this 50-pound beekeeping box. You still got to go through 
20, 30, or 40 frames of bees swarming around your head. So that smoker ain't helping you. You need to know how to do it this way because your, your electric smoker may not be plugged up. You may run out of electricity. Your batteries may run out of charge. Then what you gonna do when you midway, halfway through that beehive and you need that smoker? What's so hard about pulling the lighter out and lighting some leaves and some paper and stuff inside your smoker, some wood chips? It's, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. If you can light a barbecue grill, you can light a smoker. <laughs> And it's even easier. What is the biggest harvest I've ever had? Oh boy. Um, I want to say one year or about three years ago, we had 30 gallons of honey. That's 30 gallons. Imagine a five gallon bucket. Imagine six of those. Six five gallon buckets of honey it took me forever to spin that honey out that is the best harvest i've ever had and i think at that time i may have had like six or seven hives something like that i was doing too much but oh my god we still got some of that honey to this very day i still got uh 10 gallons of it to this very day that we keep we keep for ourselves and for the bees um let me see that was a good question, though. What part of South Carolina? I'm in the low country near Charleston. I'm close to you. Should I grow things like white strawberries and pink bananas? I can't tell you what, what to grow, uh, Kaylin. I can't tell you. If you want, do you like pink strawberries and bananas? You know something. There we go. There we go. Um, no need. Um, Right, Rambo. No need in changing something that's been working for hundreds of years. Um, there, you literally take paper and leaves and put it in a can, light it on fire, and smoke. To go off and purchase an electric, all this electric fandango crap that can fail. You know what can't fail? Burning leaves. You don't got to worry about no fire starter inside to leave electric little igniter you don't got to worry about any of that and, and you know something else every beekeeper do let me let me let me let you in on something right here every single beekeeper every single beekeeper leaves their smoker outside every if you're a beekeeper and you ain't never left your your smoker outside or left your hive tool outside raise your hand i, I bet not see no hands in here because you've left that smoker outside because you either wanted it to burn up, finish burning outside and it got too late. And you forgot to go back out there and get it or you set it on a hive and you were probably getting stung up and you forgot it. Um, did you change to an electric extractor for honey? No, I still got my same old crank. But see, that's a whole different ball game than working the hive. If I got an electric um, spinner, that's the work is done that's the playtime that's different when you out here on this hive and you work in this hive you're all that fandango extra man you done paid way too much for it it don't work as good as you thought it was and it's gonna it's gonna get you in a pickle one way or the other i promise you this now i'm telling you something i know not something i'm thinking all that extra that's why i don't do it I don't get into all of that new weird equipment because everybody everybody ain't telling you the full truth. Now, I know some people with that flow hive. Yes, it works. Yes, the flow hive does work. Does it work like it's supposed to? Hell no. Everybody I see to mess around and get that flow hive, you know what they end up doing? Either putting it to the side or getting rid of it and starting with a new hive, a, a normal Langstroth hive because it's easier and it's like a fraction of the cost. Do me a favor, go look at that hive and see how much that crap costs. Imagine, usually it, on a honey flow, you will easily run through 40 frames if you need four boxes to put on one hive or two hives 
each hive, the honey flow is strong. And you got to hurry up and put frames in a box and then put that box on the hive. I need to put two frame, two boxes on top of this hive because it's so strong. This hive is so strong. That's 20 frames. Now, another hive is strong with the same honey flow. That's two more boxes. That's 20 more frames. Go look at, for me to build a quick pine frame cost me a dollar and 25 cents. A dollar and 25 cents and just say another maybe dollar to put some uh, uh, foundation in there, a wax foundation. So I got about $2.50 that I'm paying per frame. Go look at how much one frame costs for a flow hive. One of those weird, kinky, crinky frames, go look at how much they cost each. Go look at how much the flow hive itself costs in a whole. Go look at how much each component costs because you just don't need just one box. You need a lot of boxes. Do you leave your wax in your hive? Never. If you leave wax inside of your beehive, you're going you're gonna to end up with wa uh, hive beetle infestation, wax moth infestation. And once you get a wax moth infestation and it goes way too far and beyond, the wax moth actually eat into the box of the frame, uh, into the wood of your box and destroy and lay eggs in your box. So if you put another hive in there, once you clean it out, you put another hive in there, the eggs hatch and then destroy your new hive. Never leave wax in your box, ever. Um, let me see. That's right, newlywed trucker. It's not worth the money. It really ain't. Let me see. Only me, Israel, said wake up, say, I think, I think about back in the day they didn't have electricity. We need to go back to manual labor. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take that out because I don't want to talk about them folks. But, but thank you for that, okay? Uh, I'm going to take that out of here. Okay. Do you? Okay. Got that one. What's a good number of hive to start with? Um, I can't tell you that. If you've never kept bees before in your life, I would just start with one. Just one. No more than two. How long does it take to produce honey? That all depends on your area. It depends on the strength of your bees. It depends on the queen. It depends on the strength of your hive. It depends on what's blooming. It depends on the weather. There is no definite answer to that. Everything depends on God. And we keep trying to control that. And we can't. We've been trying to control that for hundreds of years. And look where it's gotten us. We cannot control bees, how much honey they make, when they make it, how they make it. The only thing we can do is stay in the spirit, pray, and be good to the bees. Give the bees what they want. But you can't predict. Even when you're the best, you give them everything they need. That does not mean you're going to get an excellent, great harvest. That's like, look. God has, listen to this, God has provided us for everything we need on this earth, correct? God has provided all of mankind every single thing he needs to survive in righteousness and spirituality on this planet. Do we use it? No. Do we fall? Yes. Do we fail? Yes. Why do we fail? When we got everything that we need right here that's because he gave us choice he gave us the spirit of choice didn't he we can choose which way we want to go we can choose right from wrong good or bad we can choose he gave us that right okay the bees are no different you can give them everything they need that does not mean that they're going to prosper because maybe they're they're not going to this honey flow they're going to that one there is not enough stuff over there we don't know. So they're not trick ponies. They're not pet monkeys. They, they are going to do whatever they want to. When you move the bee boxes to Freedom Acres, are you planting any plants and relying on the environment? Um, I'm not going to plant any plants that has anything to do with the bees. Um, I'm taking them to Freedom Acres, but... Um, Um, they got to rely on the environment anyway because you could actually yep okay thank you more backyard gardeners for the um for the uh
flow hive and all those weird little flow hives is $50 for 10 frames. $50 for 10 frames. That's not the hive. That's not the hive. That's not the little honey. It's a little stupid honey tool. That's the frames. So imagine you got to do that for four boxes. That's $200 for just two hives. You got to keep doing that. It's ridiculous. Thank you, Newlywed Trucker. Yes, he did give us the spirit of free will. Not going uh, to make the best choices sometimes. Animals are the same way. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's $300 for the, for the hive itself. $300 for a flow hive. And then it's $50 for the frames. What kind of beekeeping you about to be doing? You might have that if you got you also got a, a, a freaking... Uh, a Bentley ghost in the in the driveway When you first get your bees, do you feed them sugar water and how thick we teach that in our bee class? And it completely depends on what you're doing and what you got going on It just depends it just depends on what you feed them how you feed them and why you feed them if if you could put sugar water out there and they won't even eat it because they you don't know what your honey flow is like in your area you don't know what's blooming one thing about keeping bees you instantly become a weatherman and an arborist you start paying attention to what kind of trees these are you start paying attention to what's blooming what's not what's out of bloom what's blooming too early because that's the stuff that your bees need to live and survive and if nothing is blooming and we keep having those cold snaps and it keeps killing all the blooms you think we get upset because it destroys our garden that we planted a little too early before the last frost they die because that killed the blooms with the nectar in it on the trees what are they going to do now that's where you leave their extra honey in there because if nothing's blooming, they're going to need that honey and the pollen stores that they have to keep going before anything else start blooming. OK, uh, look, look at this dude. Look at this. Look at this guy. I don't know who live here, me or you. This dude just be walking past like he just paid all of my mortgage. He looking at me like, what's sitting down on a job? You still on your lunch break? Now you been on lunch a long time. Time to start getting up. Man, get your big fluffy. <laughs> Just walk past me like, he hit me with the. If you ever had, if you ever had geese in your land, you see they always hit you with the, the sub. Okay, let's see. J3GS Farms is on in the building. What's going on, brother? I don't see you, but I see Rambo talking to you. Okay, no more questions. We've been on here like an hour and a half. I just wanted to throw this at y'all, but please do me a favor. If you have ever wanted to see a real live swarm of bees bombard my backyard, bombard my hive, I'm about to release that video. I am going to do this other video right now because tonight... I have to patch this hive up. I'm going to take you over there and then I'm going to stop. I got I to gotta button this hive up and take it to Freedom Makers. I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the hive that flew in. This is the hive that flew in today, the swarm. They're still getting situated. They're getting their GPS set up. Hide over the winter because it was hot that day on Christmas Eve. It didn't just kill my citrus. It killed my construction hide. It was hot that day. It was 80 degrees that day. Then it turned around and it was 16, 17 degrees that night. Then it was 70 degrees. Then it was 19 degrees. It did that for a whole week. And it killed my hive off. So now this is a whole brand new swarm that they took residence inside that box. 
They cleaned it out and everything. So I'm going to show you them now, but then I'm going to release this video and it's going to blow your mind. Any questions so far? Well, let me get back in here because I got a lot of work to do. Listen, I'm going to be releasing. I'm going to be releasing. Um, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay. I'm taking. I'm taking this one of these cages first. I might take this cage first to free the makers. I'm gonna take this one and. All of these, everybody been walking, I've been walking past this garden for for about a year now, okay? And everybody like, dang, Led, what's going on with all your, your garden? What's what's popping? Your garden ain't, ain't popping, bro. That's because, watch this, see all them plants, them trees I got in buckets? Look at this. See up uh, all my um, pomegranates, persimmons. My almonds, peach trees, some pear trees. Watch this. This is stuff I've been preparing all year. And y'all been like, what is you doing? All my blueberries. Here's all them blueberries that I got. And y'all kept saying, why aren't you going to put them in the ground? I said, I got something planned. All them blueberries. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, two, four, six. That's seven blueberries. That's my blueberry patch over there where they used to be. Now watch this. Stay with me. Stay with me. Y'all hear them eggs being laid? People say beans and beans and pasta, beans and rice are going to kill those chickens. They still super alive and super pumping out eggs. So whoever keeps saying that, they do not know what they're talking about. Now look at this. All of those, both of these tubs is full of blueberries. It's literally like 20 or 30 blueberries in containers in here. And everybody kept saying, Led, why didn't, why aren't you putting your blueberries in the ground? Because I knew I'm about to leave. All my trees that I ain't put in the ground and been digging up one by one, because I knew I'm about to leave. I still got cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts in buckets. Why? Because I knew I was about to leave. Why is my porch ain't got no gardening going on right now? Because I know I'm about to leave. See, I don't, some stuff I keep to myself because I'm like, number one, I, I know this sounds crazy. I don't like burning bread on myself. Number two, we, we've tried to purchase land in several different places and that deal might fall through. And then you sitting there looking stupid. You done talked all this mess. And it's like, dang, you know. That prayer is between you and the Father. So keep that to yourself. Till it, till it um, presents itself. So all of the crazy stuff you've been seeing around my garden. Why stuff don't look good. It's because I'm on my way. This is all going to Freedom Acres. All these trees on my tractor. And all these lined up. Is going on the trailer right now. So. I was going to go right now, but now I have to wait because now that this swarm done came, I just got to wait to tape them up, patch them up, and take them with me. So that's what it is. Don't, don't tell everybody what you got going on until it's going on. That way, it's a lot of people on the internet, all they like to do is say, Ugh. He look. He lying. He said this. He said that. He said that. That's all they. They just like to see people fail. But you know what? You know what they like to see better. They like to see an underdog win. So don't even tell them all your your stuff you got. Don't tell them all your plans. Just go ahead and knock something out. All right. Any last minute question? That's right. Got to make smart, quiet moves. That's it. Just it. Everything you do in your life does not have to be televised. It does not have to be a video made about it. It does not have to go on social media. You do not have to put it on Facebook and show everybody what you're doing. Some stuff you're doing quiet. And then people going to start noticing something is different. Where are you at? Uh, ever grafted blueberries? No, because that's, that's lightweight ridiculous. <laughs> Why would you do that?
trying to graft those little bitty twigs just so you can have a different kind of blueberry on that branch. For blueberries, it would just be simpler just to go buy a different kind of blueberry. Some, some kind of stuff is just not worth it. Uh, Lisa says, yes, we moved a year ago to property. There you go. That's right, newlywed, moving in silence. Uh, James Paris says, do you offer your beekeeping class online? I'm in text. Yes, we do it online. We are actually on our last session right now. And I think we're going to do another one. I'm not sure yet. It depends on what we got planned. Let me see. Sun, she is sunshine said no one believed I was going to move across the country But I am dealing with the people not happy for me. It is what it is Family man said let not your left hand know what your right hand do. Amen So that's it you guys i'm sorry for keeping y'all so long But i'm hoping this enlightened a few people on a little bit of what beekeeping look like for real for real uh, please post dates of the next class. I sure will, James. I'll make sure I do it, okay? Um, and I'm literally going to release this swarm video like right now. That's not what I'm supposed to be doing right now, but I'm going to do it, okay? I have so much stuff to show you guys. Please hang on with me, and I want to say thank you again to all of the subscribers, the new subscribers, old subscribers. I want to say thank you for getting me this far so, so after all these years, I want I want to say thank you because I'm about to turn a new milestone and I want to make sure that I say thank you to everybody that's gotten me here. I didn't get here by myself. Thank you so much. All right. Lev Farmer 73, I'm going to go in here, take this suit off. I'm going to go start getting this honey ready to get stripped. I'm going to let you see how I get this honey. All right. I'm not going to use the spinner. Because that's doing too much with as much honey as I got right now. I'm going to use a fork, an afro pick, and a cookie sheet. Um, let me see. She is sunshine. What area are you in? I, I don't know who she was talking to. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, Rambo. Thank you, everybody, for supporting me this long. All right? Couldn't have done it without you. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to say that until I can't say it no more. Everybody... Be ready to join us on the journey at Freedom Acres. Y'all ain't been seeing Lady Led a lot because, again, we got a lot going on that we can't tell you about right now. So I'm trying to show her as much as possible. She had a free moment today. And I'm like, just help me with these bees real quick so they can see your face and let you let folks know that I ain't, I ain't got you stuffed in a trunk somewhere heading to the, the crushing yard because <laughs> they ain't seen you. So come on in. Enjoy, join us on this journey because it's about to be. I can't wait till I get my pond. Uh, any special food for the apple trees right now? Uh, if you mean any kind of special fertilizer, no, just organic fertilizer and compost. So, everybody. I see y'all later. Let me get out of here. Thank you for hanging out with me. All the, and I hope all my SOBs see this. I got honey all over me. Hope all my SOBs see this so y'all can see exactly what we've been talking about in the beekeeping class. Left Farmer 73, I love y'all, and I'm out. Peace.